It's going to be absolutely action packed today. There's going to be so much going on that we actually don't know how we're going to fit it all in. Um, so, towards the end, we might have to just start leaving out the vowels. I'm speaking in text. A lot of brands will come to us with a briefing of get us a social film. It's almost get us a viral. Uh, where we immediately answer, we don't make a viral. What we try and do is create content, which, and video is very powerful, so it often ends up in video, but content that will help us provoke that conversation, or that will help us um, kickstart some thoughts around the, the brand. And yet, everything I'm seeing is that the way that people are consuming content, and particularly non-transactional, editorial content, stuff where you're just trying to engage an audience, they're doing it from a smartphone. So, you know, by the time we've built this website that looks brilliant on a piece of paper and all these PowerPoints, you're actually building something that's going to be out of date by the time it's, it's there. And not only that, it's really costly to build these things. So I think our perspective is with mobile is that it's, today it's the only, um, only technology platform that allows couple of things. So it allows your customers to be connected with your brand all the time if they choose to, um, but it also allows you to connect the customer throughout the customer journey um, through one device. Um, and again, it goes back to having that single customer view because you can't really achieve that unless you have the, the correct um, foundation of data set to support the fact that you know which part of the journey the customer's in, are they, um, are they still researching once they've bought a flight, when they're at the airport, um, when they're in destination, when they've come home and, and how that whole um, life cycle works. And, you know, we have our mobile devices with us um, all day, every day. Some of us probably sleep with them. Um, so it's really about um, understanding the, the power um, of that way that allows us to connect the customer journey right through. One of the challenges for brands today is that there are so many opportunities and I think for many brand managers, uh, marketing managers, the channel is how on earth do you embrace all of those, how are you um, relevant in each of those environments and how do you try to make them relate to each other. And I think probably the challenge is that you normally have started with one, a traditional channel or even a traditional online channel and it's about taking those next steps in a really, um, in a way that's got some integrity and creates I think something genuinely useful um, for a consumer that then builds trust in you know, the right types of behaviours. One thing about social media is I actually think it makes people lazy. We talk about people's lack of time. I just think it makes people lazy, particularly from our side, because all of the times for gigs and stuff are on uh, the websites. they literally got to go to the website, which isn't hard if you type in that too. Um, but they'll come on Twitter. Yeah, they'll, they'll come onto Twitter and they'll literally ask you, the time, or literally you've answered a question five times on that timeline in the last two minutes and someone will come back and ask you exactly the same question. So you have to obviously answer immediately, but at the same time, the irony of it is people have less time but also become lazier. So you've got to almost be a Q&A all the time. One thing you never do is lie to the press. You just never, ever, ever lie to the press. Ever. Better say nothing than lie. Uh, once you lie, you're, you're, you're toast forever. Really. Whatever you get. Uh, and uh, by and large, I mean, I've been public property for a few years. You know, I've been kicked to death, I've been praised, I, you know, it's, it's part of the job. Um, refreshes the brand every now and again. <laughs> pop up, uh, and they take a pop at you, fine. Always remember the press is never right before the event, and never wrong afterwards, basically. <laughs>